And now we're going to head to Kharkiv, uh, which is one of um, the biggest cities in um, the Ukraine. And there you are seeing another missile uh, that has struck a building and what appears to be uh, an apartment building here, a government building uh, burning after Russian shelling. Uh, the roof of this security service of Ukraine building, this is in central Kharkiv, um, was ablaze on just this morning. Uh, these are footages coming in of uh, firefighters trying to put out this fire. Uh, on this government building. Uh, the SES has said that Freedom Square in front of the Kharkiv Regional Administration Headquarters had been struck by a missile. Uh, those images we did bring to you live, raw, and unfiltered yesterday. And these are more uh, images of what is happening on the ground in Ukraine as Russian invasion and Russian forces uh, continue to make their presence known. Here is another video uh, that we have gotten into our newsroom uh, of the similar the similar square, that Freedom Square in Kharkiv, uh, where now it does appear that the fire is a bit more under control. But people, um, you know, looking at this area, this town square that used to be uh, a hustling and bustling metropolis full of people and people. Uh, and now it is under rubble. Um, and speaking of rubble, here is a video of firefighters uh, rescuing people uh, in the rubble. Once again, uh, all of this in the aftermath of Russian airstrikes that are happening on the ground in Ukraine. Uh, now, these Russian attacks on Ukraine continue. They're resulting in casualties as they target civilian areas, as we have been bringing to you uh, in our latest reports. Our Fox News' Gary Baumgarten has more on the efforts to ward off Moscow as international sanctions against Russia begin to intensify. Let's take a listen to his latest report. since World War II as Russian military attacks escalate in Ukraine, targeting residential areas across the country, including the capital of Kiev and the second largest city of Kharkiv, endangering the lives of more than four million innocent people. These are all peaceful citizens who were injured in Kirov's neighborhood, just a regular neighborhood. As the ammunition falls, human rights groups are keeping a watchful eye on what kinds of weapons Russia is using, with some accusing troops of dropping cluster bombs, artillery that opens in the air to release smaller bombs across a larger area, putting more lives at risk. Russian officials deny the allegations. But as hundreds of armored military vehicles and aircraft press onward across Ukraine, anti-war protests are intensifying back in Russia. Demonstrators across at least 32 Russian cities continue demanding an end to the fighting, with police apprehending more than 5,000 protesters since Vladimir Putin waged his attack last week. War must be stopped. It must be. It's crazy what's going on right now. The ongoing Russian assault triggering more sanctions by dozens of other countries, including the banning of Russian aircraft from many international airspaces, trapping Russian tourists abroad, trying to get home. Gary Baumgarten, Fox News. And here we are bringing you uh, a live images coming into our newsroom um, of the Hungarian border with Ukraine. We do want to remove uh, this upper for you because this is not in Kiev, Ukraine. This is actually on the Hungarian border where a refugee crisis is fully underway in Ukraine uh, as hundreds of thousands of people flee because Russia continues to target these civilian areas. Uh, we can confirm that over half a million people have fled Ukraine in less than a week. Six 677,000 is the number that the UN Refugee Agency has most recently given. Um, the UN estimates that 12 million people inside Ukraine will need relief and protection, while more than 4 million Ukrainian refugees may need protection and assistance in neighboring countries in the coming months. Uh, and this is a live look at uh, families, mothers, children making their way uh, onto trains and off of trains with their belongings 
anything that they could uh, pack in a suitcase in a bag as they flee Ukraine because of the Russian invasion that occurred just seven days ago. Once again, we are on day seven of this invasion. Um, as we brought to you uh, in the first 24 to 48 hours of this invasion, men between the ages of 18 and 60 are not allowed to leave the country. President Zelensky has banned them from leaving the country. And so that's why a large percentage of the people that you are seeing fleeing are, of course, women, um, mothers, grandmothers, older gentlemen uh, and children. Now, uh, some of the men that you do see, perhaps they have a second passport and that is why they are able to flee. But Ukrainian men between the ages of 18 and 60 are not allowed to flee the country. Uh, they are banned from fleeing. And so once again, these are live images coming into our newsroom uh, of the Hungarian border, uh, live train arrivals at the border. Uh, and these are people that have fled Ukraine to safety and they were seeing hugs, kisses, smiles as they have made it to the other side. They have made it to safety. Um, but what they have left behind perhaps will look very different if one day they are able to return to their home countries. Uh, we do want to bring you more images that have come into our newsroom of the refugee situation uh, that we are currently monitoring. Here is a look at what is going on uh, in Poland uh, and this is uh, a train stop that, uh, once again, on the Polish border. Poland has said that over 450,000 refugees have crossed from Ukraine over the past 24 hours alone. Um, 450,000 total, 98,000 just in the past 24 hours. So those are the correct numbers. Uh, following a meeting between the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Polish Prime Minister uh, on Tuesday, the Polish Chancellery of the Prime Minister said Ukraine needs our immediate action and most practical help. Poland is actively helping by providing military aid to strengthen Ukraine's capabilities and resilience in defending its territorial integrity. And there you are seeing more images just like the ones that we brought live to you. Women, children, families um, headed to safety uh, and away from Ukraine amid Russia's continued invasion into the country, uh, targeting civilian hospitals, buildings and areas. Uh, we have seen civilian deaths uh, plentiful because of these Russian attacks. Uh, and here is more imagery of uh, uh, this one is loud as well. Uh, but this is yet another area, women and children arriving this time at the Slovakian border. Um, they're moving through a border checkpoint here uh, in Slovakia coming from Ukraine. Thousands of people once again fleeing the country. Now, uh, the refugee crisis is worsening across Eastern Europe. Uh, I just gave you that number. 677,000 people have fled Ukraine to neighboring countries.